Hi guys, this is gsndon.com and I'm here with the Asus Zenfone 3 Deluxe. We already reviewed two flavor of the Asus Zenfone 3, the main version. Now it's time for the powerhouse. It's the very first handset with a Snapdragon 821 processor inside that we test. This is just the unboxing, so let's see what this metal beautiful phone is all about. In spite of having a 5.7 inch diagonal, it's quite light, it weighs around 172 grams, it measures 7.5 millimeters in thickness and it's simply gorgeous. It has a metal back which is slightly arched, USB Type-C port and up front a screen with a Super AMOLED panel and an incredibly slim bezel of only 1.3 millimeters. Well built and the price should be at around $730 but for the 64 GB storage version, we have the 256 GB storage version with 6 GB of RAM. Okay, now it's an interesting way, the way we access the accessories. It's basically like um, a toy box, a music box, or whatever you want to call it. We got a pretty generous charger here. This charger offers 9 volts, 2 amperes, and 18 watts. It offers quick charge support. And then we have the excellent pair of headphones. This is the Asus Zenier S headset, which looks pretty much like a jewelry case. Let's see it closer. We have a variety of caps for the headphones. And the look takes the one from the regular headset offered by Asus and makes it more polished, more elegant, prettier and possibly with high res and all the nifty stuff that one can want from his or her headset. Okay, now we move further to this little envelope where we find the metal key to access the slots and of course the manuals, not many manuals, so Asus is saving trees. And finally the USB Type-C cable, you can see here USB Type-C and that's that, that's everything available inside the box, we're happy with the content. The previous deluxe phone from Asus felt like an excellent gaming phone and now let's see how this one feels, time to fire it up. So as I said before, 6GB of RAM, 256GB of storage, the display is a Full HD one with a Super AMOLED panel, 5.7 inch diagonal and inside there's the Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 processor which is basically the 820 with a higher clock rate at 2.4 GHz. The RAM is of the LPDDR4 kind, the setup has started. And at the front we have an 8 megapixel camera for the selfies, while at the back there's a 23 megapixel shooter with laser focus, dual tone flash and uh, 4K video capture as well as optical image stabilization. High resolution acoustics are also here and the fingerprint scanner below the main camera. Next, cancel, next again. Next, and we are done. What you're seeing here is Android Marshmallow with Zen UI 3.0 on top of it. The experience feels familiar, we've already seen it in action on the Asus Zenfone 3 5.2 inch version and 5.5 inch version. I can already see that something is different. The previous Zenfone 3 models had an IPS panel and this one has an AMOLED which brings hugely vivid colors. Just check out this shade of blue. You did not see that on the other Zenfone trees. It's a very vivid blue, it's like Mediterranean blue. I'm talking about the sea, of course. Okay, so lots of pre-installed apps as per usual. And then we have a 3000 mAh battery. We have a USB Type-C port here and interestingly placed capacitive buttons towards the bottom of the device. Also a concentric pattern, which can be seen in the light, typical for the Zen products from Asus. It runs Marshmallow with Zen UI on top and let's see the camera interface here. Yes, and the modes, quite a lot of them. We found the same ones on the Zenfone 3. There may be some pluses or minuses. We shall see once we test this powerhouse of a phone. I'm guessing it's tailored for gamers, for people who want a future-proof phone that they're going to use for, let's say, three or four years without experiencing any trace of lag and without having to buy another phone or switching to a higher RAM status and all that. Anyways, this has been the contact, the first contact with the Asus Zenfone 3 Deluxe. Incredibly slim for what it offers well built, made of metal, not glass and metal like the Zenfone 3 and with a very slim bezel for the Super AMOLED 
excellent looking screen. This is gsm.com and you can find this product for around $700-$800 online. Bye bye!